morning traders welcome to the TMT stock market strategy video for Monday June 13th markets actually took it on the chin for the first time in about 10 11 days um, this euphoria of buying on uh, no volume we mentioned that we talked about it uh, in the videos in the previous videos I said watch look out for certain things as big red flags now one day does not make a trend but I do think that yesterday excuse me uh, Friday's selling was uh, was definitely dramatic and it is, it's definitely an attention getter to the funds uh, so what happened well uh, in the pre-market we had global year 10-year yields uh, really take it on the chin compliments of stockcharts.com you could see here uh, US equities UK Germany Japan uh, they all took it on the chin and what happens to bonds bonds actually exploded higher now here is what I was I showed you this about many times this is a 30-year weekly bond this line represents a 20-year uptrend line of resistance 20 years it's significant I just I'm just blowing this up so you can see where we are here um, if this were to break out and we get two uh, two closes above this trend line guys it's going to be a game changer for equities at least in the short term uh, and that's also going to fall into place about the risk event that we have we have the Federal Reserve this week we have non um, we have triple witching expiration this week and then of course we got the brexit vote next week so um, a lot of a lot of stuff to digest if you're heavily long um, my guess is that I think we see some selling coming in I'm going to show you some levels that I'm looking at um, but it's it's well not only is it well overdue but nine days of rallying on on no volume with no news no real economic news coming out um, you know if anything was just all bad news and it just continued to rally the market so um, I do think the Fed is not going to rally. Fed fund futures pricing in uh, like a 10% move, 10% uh, um, uh, that the Fed's going to go. So there really is a non-event, uh, and I think it's priced in already. So even if they don't move, I think you're not going to see much of a reaction because um, the Fed, uh, be because of the fact of what has happened um, in the last couple of days. Now, on top of that, if they do raise, then you're going to see uh, a, a real nice sharp sell-off in the markets, okay? But I don't think that's going to happen, so we got to worry about that for July. Now, the Brexit vote, I do believe they're not going to move uh, either. Um, that would just create havoc worldwide on everybody's economy. Dollar will would rip to the upside. Gold would just go to the roof. Uh, and then equities and risk-off would happen very, very quickly. So you have to be prepared for that as traders. If you're running your own book, you have to be aware of that, okay? So anyway, here is the USB Weekly, and I wanted to show this to you, that we're just about on the cusp here of breaking out. Now, Monday starts, today starts a new week, so let's see what happens if we break out or do we fall back down to the 20 again, okay? It looks like every time we get close, we don't do it. So maybe this, maybe there might be enough fear out there, uh, just maybe, that fear is starting to build up, and uh, this thing does pop. And I, I do believe if that does happen, why? Would it hurt equities because money will come out of equities and park into a safe haven trade? Eventually, you'll see the dollar get bid up, which it did Friday. The dollar actually rallied. You'll see gold get bid up, which it did as well, okay? And equity sold off and bonds actually were bid up too. So you have that safe haven trade is happening again, all right? So just something to think about um, going into this week. Be prepared. All right, let's take a look now at um, our VIX. Remember I said, uh, guys, watch the VIX. And by the way, um, you know, I, I mentioned, you know, we're the TMT, we're running a, a special in the dark pool trading room. Guys, if you're trading by yourself, we're running a special for 249 that we have. We're dropping it to $49 just for a, an introductory offer. It will go back up again. Absolutely take a look at it. Get into the room. It's $49. Professional traders trading in front of you with an algorithm dark pool trading uh, index where we look um, and fully automated trading signals. Uh, off of the four indices so you really should check it out go to the website support of trading market technicals.com don't trade alone trade with uh, with a group of, of, of talented traders okay and on top of that you can see here the VIX I said watch guys was really tightening and sure enough uh, we've exploded and it had we haven't even gotten anywhere yet right here just so you get a, a good handle this is the area right here if we take out 17 and a half seven well we did take out 17 but if we take out like 17 and a half, which we're right there on a closing basis, I think you're going to see this thing really rip higher. And then again, probably come in and then rip higher yet again. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to go to 40, but you have to really be aware that this thing can move. And I want to explain this to you. There's a, th this VIX, the speculators, which did very, very well here, are still heavily shorted here as, this, as it based. So you have to be very, very careful, guys, because it's, it's heavily shorted. 
So what happens when it rips higher? Not only do, not only do the funds have to protect their book because their long exposure is long only, then you're going to have the short covering rally, and this thing's just going to explode. So you have to really be careful if you are short this. If anything, use it as a hedge to your portfolio. Here's the VXX. This is the instrument that I like to trade. And you can see here, we broke down from this big, long base, and then we sold off pretty hard. And now the first area of resistance is going to be that, 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 resist, that support at 1550, which was, um, excuse me, support, which now is resistance. So if you are long from there, 1550 will be your first target area, okay? All right, uh, here's the dollar. Wanted to show you that the dollar, I said, remember last week, guys, I said don't count the dollar out because when, the, when we uncertainty, they want to park money. They're going to park it in gold. They're going to park it in the dollar, and they're going to park it in some consumer staples, utilities. Those are, uh, those are the ones, the inflows that are coming out of the market as well. So dollar looking okay, and I do think that 200-day will be the first target. Okay, we'll get the gap fill and the 200, and then we'll see where it goes from there. All right, and then let's go take a look at our spiders. Okay, you can see here uh, the, the 20 is the first, the 20 day is really the first area um, that it held. And now we're going to see if we can get down to that 50. Now I'm going to show you, um, I mentioned also on the 60 minute chart, I said, guys, we have negative divergence building. Be very careful. And I showed this to you last week on the chart, on the, uh, in a video. Um, you could see what happened. We had negative divergence here, okay? And I said, we're, we're moving up. You can see as we're moving up. Uh, neg we have negative divergent RSI and MACD making lower lows and lower highs. So that is something that you need to keep an, keep an eye on. And sure enough, bam, we sold off. And this is the target of 206.48 off of this big bearish rising wedge. We have a gap area that still needs to be filled here and here. Okay. Uh, that comes in at 206. And then we need to reevaluate. Remember, guys, even if it came down to here, 206, 20, even 203 and hold, this is still in an uptrend, that longer term uptrend would still be intact. So I just want you to realize, I don't want you to get too overly bearish at the moment. Um, but I will tell you, in the S&P, really to really break this uptrend, we need to break 2,000 again, and we need to hold 2,000. Okay, that's going to really alleviate. And if, if, that, if, if the S&P broke 2,000, two days close uh, below that, I would back basically pretty much solidify me being comfortable calling a market top. All right, in the short term. But right now, let's just stick to what we have. Um, we really need to alleviate 208.75. We need to take that out in the spiders. If we take out 208.75 on a closing basis, you're going to get that flush and that gap filled down to here, at least down to here, 205 again, okay? So just keep that in mind, but this is a beautiful chart, um, and you should definitely replicate, replicate this thing for yourself. All right, transports want to show you. Look, we had a big gap down again. Now we're barely holding on to oh, – we have, we have a confluence area of, of support, moving averages um, – the 8, the 20, the 50, and the 200. You can see that here just sitting there. If we lose that, then we'll get back down to this trend line here, and then we'll reevaluate it again, okay? Um, you know, look, this M pattern that I showed you is really still valid. I mean, it didn't take out the head, so this is still a valid pattern. I'll put this back on again, but if we lose that neckline, then you're going to see lower prices, okay? But we're going to watch this closely. This, this week should be really exciting, all right? Look at the IWM. Remember I mentioned very big overhead resistance here. And if anything, it should go back down to my proprietary price channels, if not this long-term um, support area of 111.46. And then lastly is the Qs. You can see that it hit my proprietary price channel. Now we're going to see if this thing can, uh, can move a little bit lower. Uh, I think NASDAQ was actually very poor, uh, and then the Russell just really took it on the chin as well. So make sure, guys, you, you have your plan. Stick to your plan right now. And... Um, uh, it's going to be an interesting week here. I do see some weakness. We have triple witching coming this week. So remember, it's going to be a, 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 a push for the bulls and the bears because triple witching, it could get really violent uh, to the downside as, as these larger firms on triple witching want to square some positions, maybe take some money off the table. And also remember one thing, um, go uh, oil. Oil uh, is topping now, and oil looks like it's ready to take some profit taking. If that happens, all these oil stocks that are heavily weighed in the S&P is going to help the bearish case, at least in the short term. Hope it helps. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care.